Hello, I'm Marcus, one of the very few native English-speaking swim coaches in Germany. Aren't you lucky? If you're anything like me, you've probably been out of the water and unable to swim for over six months now. Personally, if I've been out of the water for more than two weeks, I can feel the difference. Goodness only knows what it's going to feel like after six months. Over the period of the C19 pandemic, I've developed a swim workout program which initially I've been using for my own personal swim fitness maintenance, but one which I'd like to share with you today. I feel it is important that we maintain the muscles and movements associated with swimming to enable a quick transition back once the pools reopen. There is no doubt that most of us will still be able to swim, but it is a transition back to performance swimming that will be enhanced if our bodies are prepared for the shock when this actually occurs. A strong core is important in all aspects of triathlon, but it's even, it is even more important in the swim phase. This workout will help you develop a strong core and will touch on other aspects of swimming fitness and flexibility. Personally, I do this workout two or three times a week. This workout uses the monkey see, monkey do method. Basically, you follow what I do and what you see on the screen. Monkey see, monkey do. If you feel it's going too fast, please don't hesitate to press the pause on the workout using the pause button. Once you've been through the workout once or twice, you'll soon pick up the format. Welcome aboard and I hope you enjoy the next few minutes of pain and pleasure. 10 knee crunches. Place your hands on the side of your head. Do not interlink your fingers behind your head as when you pull forward, you could damage sensitive muscles in your neck. Quite a simple exercise really. Sit up and reach with your right elbow towards the left knee and vice versa. This is a good stretch for the hamstrings and the shoulders. It's important that you keep your legs straight, the knee and the leg is on the floor. Do not bend your knee. Reach forward and touch your toes. Pull your toes back towards you. Those of you who are more flexible may be able to touch their toes with both hands. This is good. Work towards this for future workouts if you can't. Don't overstrain. Go as far as you can without feeling any pain. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. It is important when you do this stretch that you keep your legs straight. The knee and the leg is on the floor. Do not bend the knee. Ten cross crunch crunches, ten left and ten right. Sit up and twist to the right or left alternatively. Do not link your fingers behind your head. Same stretch as before, but using the opposite leg. T 
minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Leg raise is great for the lower abs. Try and point your toes as much as possible, better than in my demo. Groin stretch. Put the soles of the feet, the feet together, pull the heels into the groin, hold the feet near the toes, push gently down on the legs with the elbows and hold the stretch. T minus 30 seconds. Minus 20 seconds. Flutter kicks on your back. Raise the legs, keep them straight. Flutter kick. Try to keep the ankles flexible, but point your toes. Try not to bend too much at the knee. There will be some bending, but keep it minimal. If you want additional abdominals, raise your head.
Many triathletes coming into swimming from a running background have very stiff ankles. I had a student in Finland who had extremely stiff ankles and when kicking he even went backwards. I will demonstrate how to do this as and when we meet in the pool next. It is hard, I don't know quite how he did it, but hey ho he did. This stretch will help you stretch your Achilles. Go at it gently and over time this will help. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Pretty self-explanatory. Flutter kicks on the front. Form a dorsal. Raise your hands. Personally, I link my thumbs. Really point your toes and flutter kick. It's pretty hard to bend your knees as they'll hit the floor, but keep your knees straight. Another Achilles stretch. You can either point your toes and hold them for the full 30 seconds or do repeated foot pointing for 30 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Heel touches. If you find the arms across your chest too hard, put your arms down on the floor.
good stretch for those of us who have been working from home. Now, more than ever, we're spending more time sitting at a desk. It's great for the lower back and the shoulders. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Everybody's favourite, the plank. If 60 seconds is too easy for you, then wait, there's a longer one at the end. A shoulder stretch. Press down the elbow, gently, not too hard, but enough to feel the stretch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Sitting twists. The weight of the dumbbell isn't important. I'm using five kilograms one, ones here, but started off using my flip-flops. The twisting motion is the important feature here, which will aid with body rotation in the water.
the same stretch as before, but just using the opposite arm. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. to use the elastic resistance band now. It is very important that the elastic band is secured to something solid and the band is in good condition. The consequences of the band breaking or the object you are securing it to flying back towards you are very bad. I've used a knot called a lark's foot. I'm trying with one hand to film this whilst tying the knot with the other. Both of the ends of the band should be at equal length. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Lean slightly forward and emulate the front crawl stroke. If it's too easy, take a step backwards. An easy but a swimming specific stretch. Just lay on the floor, face down, and try and get long. Fully stretch out from the fingers right through to the toes. Hold it for 30 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Weighted press-ups. Yep, I'm using 5 kilogram dumbbells here, but please use dumbbells you feel able to use. If you do not have dumbbells, you can still do the exercise without them.
And dun, 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 the last exercise is plank to destruction. Hold the plank for as long as possible. I find it helps if you relax and breathe. Write the time you achieved in the comments below. Thanks everyone. Bye now. When you say the word I.